Hello everybody, it's Sandy from Furry Pet Books. It is One Take Wednesday, and I bet it's coming upon you just like me. Advent begins December 1st. So we have, I'm so proud, I think the greatest collection of Advent books for you to do with your family, and kind of the newest and most favoritist one in our store is this one because it's called The Wonder of the Greatest Gift. Ann Voskamp wrote it. And look at this. Can you believe every day that you get to do that? Your kids, you yourself, would absolutely feel that pang of charm and happy joy every day that you open it. And for me, the colors are so gorgeous, even beyond traditional Christmas colors, they um, speak of such peace and joy whenever I look at this color combination. And what you do with this is on the first day of Advent, you have a little ornament that is linked to the book that comes with. So in the book is devotionals, 25 of them, and the ornaments are themed to the devotional. And so every day you read that and put on your ornament. Oopsie, you know, good idea. And then um, on the last day, the 25th day, you get a star, a tree tapper. This is kind of hard. Um, so it is just the most charming presentation that will create oohs and ahs. And um, I'm hoping that this year, since most of us are spending more time at home, that we'll all actually get the advent calendar done one day at a time instead of jammed all three or four days at a time because you're zipping around like I did when my kids were small. So that is our newest and most favoritist I think it's 30, is it $35? $36. $36. Uh, we're happy to wrap it and ship it for you. Um, I just did that for all of my nieces and nephews that I don't get to see. Um, so similarly, this is a faith-based Advent book for your family. I think uh, kids are a little bit older because the text of all of the nativity stories um, is a little bit longer sentences. And there is a carol, or sorry, a song, a piece of music that goes along with each story. So it has that element of um, sight and sound, which is so great to keep kids engaged. Um, another Advent um, opportunity are these two, How Winston Delivered Christmas. I love this. And this too, Christmas is coming. These are less faith-based, but have just packed with a really cute story and the sweetest activities that you can do with no talent whatsoever. I think um, I could have done this even with no sleep when my kids were little. There, this is um, a story about how Winston the mouse found a letter to Santa and it was lost. And he finds a way to get the letter to Santa and saves Christmas. So 24 parts of that story. And this is um, an advent calendar with pop-ups all throughout on the cover and also an activity book, but I think it's so, the illustrations are so charming. Um, and that is very hard to do, believe me. Not everybody does this sort of thing really well. Just such rich jewel red and green tones there. I love it. Um, so Advent is something I hope we all keep in mind because it's coming up really soon. But also Thanksgiving is so important. Um, I usually host Thanksgiving this year. I'm not having the usual 25, you know, 30 people over. But um, I think it's going to be a time, hopefully, that we'll all have to reflect on the meaning of a holiday. And for kids, I'm really proud of our traditional Thanksgiving books. I only buy the best. There's Little Bright Baby by Roger Pretty for your littlest um, Thanksgiving celebrators. This is my family's favorite, Cranberry Thanksgiving. It's the dearest little mystery of who stole the cranberry recipe. And at the end, when the mystery is solved, you get the recipe for the cranberry bread. Um, in addition to all of that, ooh, Thanksgiving activity book. We need that. Keep them busy while you're doing stuffing. Um, but in addition, of course, we have a focus on indigenous peoples. And my daughters announced to me that it's not indigenous peoples, mom, you're supposed to name the tribe that the people are in, like the Seneca or the Comanche. But I don't know the answer. I don't always have that information, but thank you, Hannah 
and Emma. Um, so we have a great selection of Indigenous Peoples books. I'm really proud of it. Giving Thanks has been around forever. It's a morning prayer. Very first Americans. Um, North American Indian, so that word is now passe, believe it or not. But we really spend a lot of time trying to celebrate the holiday in a way every American can appreciate. So you guys enjoy these next days. Let's not shoo them away in all of our Christmas glitter quite yet. Um, we're open regular hours, and so check our website if you have any questions. And uh, just keep in mind that we wrap and we ship. Bye!